Hi, so in today's lesson, we are going to create an Excel template, and then we are going to open up a new document using that personal, t personal template. So here we see a worksheet for a budget. So this is something that we may use uh, fairly often. Um, so we might do one every month, or we may do it for several departments. It all depends on the situation, but it's something we use over and over. So what we can do is save it as a template rather than uh, opening up the old file and having to delete all the data, making sure we don't overwrite the old file, save it as a new file. This way we can start clean with no data but yet have all of the formatting done ahead of time. So to go to a template, we need to save it as an XLST file or an Excel template. So I'm going to go to File and oops, File, Save As. And we don't really need to pick, uh, worry too much about the place, so I just hit Browse. And once I save it, change it to an Excel template, we could also do a macro enabled template if we plan to have macros. But for this one, we're going to just use an Excel template. Notice here it's going to save under Documents, under Custom Office Templates, so we have it available. And I'm just going to call it Budget Worksheet Template. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and close this file because that's closing the template. Let's go to File and New. Now here's all the templates that Microsoft has created, and I know there's many more online, but what we want to do is go to Personal. And this, is, this one here is our budget worksheet. So we click on that, and we can see it's a template one. When we go ahead and save it, we can go ahead and save it anywhere and it will now be a workbook. So I'm just going to save it to my Dropbox, and I can say new, new uh, budget, and go ahead and save. Now this is using the template. Once again, we could go in and do a file new, and since it's, we've used it recently, it will appear here. It will give us a new blank version, which we can then make changes, and save. So that wraps up how you can create a new template and open up a new file based on that template.